A lot more to cover on the Lincoln Riley to USC front, but what will the Sooners do next? All right, Dusty, how will this move impact the program? Who do you expect to be in the mix for next head coach? Well, long term, I believe Oklahoma's going to be fine. But in the short term, this could have somewhat catastrophic ripples. Most notably, I really wonder what Caleb Williams decides to do. How many Sooners will we see land in the transfer portal? I would imagine quite a few, whether it's players following Riley and members of his staff to USC or elsewhere. Then there's this year's recruiting class that seems to be losing high-end commitments by the minute, as you heard Dean talk about earlier. What once seemed as if it could be a crown jewel class is now hanging in the balance in a matter of hours. Joe Castiglione is one of the best athletic directors in the country, and in Joe, Sooner Nation should trust. But he needs to not only nail this hire once again, he needs to nail it in a timely fashion. Every day that passes puts this program that much more in jeopardy with the current and future roster. But Bob Stoops will step in as the interim head coach for stability until the next head coach is brought in. I'm led to believe Coach Stoops really has no interest in permanently taking back over the reins of the program. Some names I have on my list, Mark Stoops, Luke Fickle, Matt Campbell, and a couple of former names, Brent Venables, and call me crazy, what about Josh Heupel? Well, what's next is trying to save any and every player possible. Those in the program, those considering opting out, current committed recruits and future recruits, particularly in that 2023 class. And hire a coach immediately, as Dusty's been saying. Riley has put Joe C. in a horrible position, almost like there's a grudge. Based on my sources and intuition and opinions from current and former Hall of Fame coaches, here's a list of potential candidates that, that I have on uh, that's what I've come up with Matt Campbell Iowa State Dave Aranda at Baylor Dan Lanning young energetic elite defensive coordinator Georgia Mike Leach one coach emphatic with me on that one Matt Rule the former Baylor now NFL Luke Fickle good endorsement on him Brent Venables also curiously never a head coach but darn good defensive one and recruiter with time restraints on the hiring, Josie may have to go with someone that he's very familiar with. Well, Campbell's obviously done a great job in Ames, but this season fell way short of expectations. So is that a one-time thing? I mean, hiring Lanning would have a similar feel when Stoops was hired in 99. You need elite players to compete in the SEC. Whoever resonates the most in recruiting might be the guy for now in my mind, because you've got to have the Jimmys and the Joes more than the X's and the O's. Mm. 